Hi, um, <coughs> basically I'm just going to be doing a um, Harry Potter one of the studio tour haul. So like what I got from the gift shop in the tour. Um, so they have a massive, massive, massive gift shop and um, it's like full of like loads of stuff. So, like um, they have, have like a prop section, so like replicas of um, like the like goblet. So like, you get this one, but like that's not an actual replica. Like it is a replica, but it's like you can get a massive, massive one, which is like proper glass and everything. Um, and then you can get like other things like stuffed animals, um, bird box, everything, beans, chocolate frogs, chocolate ones, everything like that. Um, you can also get like ones like varying from like Sirius Black, Bellatrixes. Um, so actually Harry Potters and Voldemort's and Dumbledore's and everything. So like you can get loads of basically. Um, <clears throat> and I went yesterday and um, for those of you that don't know it's basically a massive building where they actually made the films and they've got like all the sets like the burrow, um, the Dursleys, like they actually have like a massive house with which is Privet Drive. And they've actually had to make number three Privet Drive because otherwise it looks weird. So they've actually like, made number three as well as number four. So it looks quite weird. Um, and they've got like the potters and everything, the night bus, but they've also got like props, so like the actual time turn that like, Hermione used, and like all the Horcruxes, and like, and they've also got like all the outfits, like some of the outfits they wore, like, um, and like the accessories are like Luna Lovegood's radish earrings and her corkscrew necklace and like stuff like that. So yeah, so that's what the tour consists of and they actually have the actual model that they used of Hogwarts, which is a massive shock, but I've already been so I knew what it was going to be like. It's a massive shock if you haven't been before because it's like way smaller. It's basically like people would be like, that's not small, but it's like compared to what you probably think it is, which is the size of an actual castle, it's like tiny. So like, yeah, so I have like stuff like that. So I'm just gonna get on with it now. So basically I'm just gonna start with like my like other family like, the people that, that came with me. So basically I went with my mum, my sister and my brother. Um <coughs> so yeah, so my brother got this first. Um I don't think he I think he just got this and the this and the chocolate frog. So we all went and we all got a chocolate frog and then I got an extra one from a friend. So we all got a chocolate frog and then like I think my brother just got this then. Um I'm not sure why, I don't know. But like yeah, I think we should this. But yeah. Um and this is basically the Troy was a toy like cup replica. Well it's not the actual replica, but like you can get loads of these like toy versions. And it on it it says um Troy really faint you can probably just about see that. It says Troy Wizard. So it just says Troy Wizard on it. Um, <clears throat> and then it's like, it's actually really cool because it's like got like the dragon's heads on it, like there and stuff. So yeah. Um, and then it lights up as well and it actually comes with batteries, which I think, like, I, I didn't think it would because, like, normally they don't come with batteries because I just want you to buy more things. Um, so yeah, and like the tour is actually really expensive, like not the tour, the, the gift shop is actually really expensive, but like everything that you get is actually really worth it, so like, yeah, because like most things, like you can't get anywhere else apart from like Florida, um, so yeah, and this was twelve ninety five, um, and it came with batteries, as I just said, so that was actually cool, uh, and then my mum got this, um, official guide to Harry Potter, <coughs> and um, it's basically just like um, a book, like full of like all the scenes that you get in it. Um, and like basically everything you see in actual tour is in there, and it's just like explaining it a bit more in like a bit more detail. So that's actually really cool. And that was nine ninety five, um, which I thought was actually really good. Um, and then the first thing that I got, oh. Oh yeah, the first thing that I got was the, um, the Quibbler. Um, like, people are like, oh my god, it's a Quibbler, we can actually, like, read through the magazine. And like, oh, this is like, it's actually not the Quibbler. It's just, like, the front page of it. But, like, the main thing that you want to, like, most people want to get at is because it comes with these special specs, which are actually amazing. <coughs> and, um... 
basically the sector sector what Luna wears in like basically all of them. It's like her trademark thing. So like yeah. And basically I'm not sure if it, it would show up, but basically what you do yeah, let me just try it. So like if you put it like through you just see everything like kaleidoscope if that makes sense. So like everything's like and like apparently like it's all the rack spurts and everything. Um like that's what Luna says it is, the like rack spurts. So like I, I just I just thought it was really cool and I just thought I have to get it. Because I had a bit like I wouldn't have got it if I had like five pounds, obviously. But like I I didn't actually have five pounds. And oh yeah, I spent hundred and one pound ninety five at the tour at the gift shop. So yeah. Um but I, I got this because I had like a bit of money left and I was just like, oh it's like, like I really wanted these in the first place but I didn't know how much money I'd have left. So I was just like actually I really want to get these. So this was five ninety five which like I actually thought it was quite expensive because you just get like the glasses but like everything in there is actually really expensive. So like you don't you don't like you need to go like equipped with a lot of money basically because like is like quite expensive. Um, and then, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. My mum got, um, I was just like, mum, um, it's your birthday, like, I'm like, I'm like, these are like 50 pounds all together, so like, can you get me this for my birthday? And then I was like, can you get me this as well? And like, she was just like, oh, okay, because like, I really wanted them, but like, they're really expensive, so I was just like, well, if I get them for my birthday, then like, it'll be even better because like, um, so this was like a t-shirt that I really wanted because last time I got a t-shirt because uh, I've been for and uh, last time I got a t-shirt and I, get, I didn't actually like it afterwards because it was like a horrible cream colour so now I just wear it as a pyjama t-shirt which is a bit weird so like, I wanted one that would like go with a lot of things because like the other one that I got didn't go at, at all with anything so I was just like mm, I'm just going to get like a white one or a black one so I saw this and I actually fell in love with it and it's basically Dementors on it with like it's so amazing and like I just fell in love with it and I just loved it. So yeah. Um, and that was and I got it a size medium because I wanted it with all fitted and uh, it was nineteen ninety five. So yeah, <coughs> I thought that was actually really good like for the for the things that you get with it. Like no not the thing that you get with it, but like the things that like, that's on it and like the quality of it and everything. I thought that was actually really good. So yeah. So I just got that. Um, and then the other thing I asked her to get for me was was a wand because like because last time I went I really wanted a wand like so much and like because they're so expensive um they're like twenty four no twenty five pounds each and I only had like fifty pound last time so I was just like I can't get one because otherwise I won't I won't really be able to get anything else. Um, so I was just like, well, I'm just going to get it. I'm just going to get um, a one this time instead because I was desperate for it anyway. Um, and this is basically, I was like desperate because my brother's got, last, last time we went, my brother got Voldemort, no, Dumbledore's Elder Wand, um, which is amazing, by the way. Um, and like, I really wanted one, but I wanted Harry's. So then we could do like the little jewel bit at the end. It was really funny, um, and it's really sad, but I just really wanted to do that. So like basically, this is Harry's one on the box. It's actually really good quality because like you get a box with it, so you keep it in the box, and it just says Harry Potter on the box, and um, and it comes with like the actual space for the actual one, <coughs> which I think is really good. So yeah, so basically, it's actually quite heavy this wand. Um, and it's basically just a proper replica of Harry's wand. And you can get, like, in the prop section, you can get, like, which has, like, replicas on everything that you've ever had. I think I've possibly said that. Um, but, yeah, so, like, in the prop section, you can get, like, a really proper replica. It, does, it, it, does, it had, wasn't made in China. And, like, it was a proper replica, and it was, like, <coughs> like it was, like, £100. And like I was, I was like so tempted to buy it, but like I didn't want to be able to get it myself, so it was a bit stupid to even bought that. So like yeah, so I just got that, and I I actually think it's really good quality. Like it just looks like quite like it. Harry's actual one. So, so yeah. Um. <coughs> oh yeah. If if like a lot of you were thinking, why is her name like literally singing? She's just going to do pause. 
But like, I am gonna be singing. But like, I just thought I had to. Like, I just thought I had to like show this, just in case like anyone was like going um soon and wanted to see like a lot of the things that you could get. Um, I was just like, well, I wanted to do it because.